Hi, and welcome to Let's Talk Lesson Picks with Beth Poss. Today we're going to talk about remote learning using Google Slides and Lesson Picks. Why use Google Slides? Google Slides allows your student to move images, add text, and annotate on a slide, regardless of whether your remote learning platform allows remote cursor control. This is great because many platforms, including Zoom, do not provide remote cursor control on Chromebooks or iPads. Once you have created your activity in Lesson Picks, you will simply download it as a PowerPoint file. If you want tokens for gameplay, choose PowerPoint Fixed with Tokens. Once your PowerPoint is downloaded, you will need to upload it from PowerPoint to Google Slides. Go to Google Drive, using the Chrome browser works best. Go to New and select File Upload. Navigate to your PowerPoint and select Open. It will save in Google Drive as a PPTX file. You will need to select Open with Google Slides. For ease of use by a student on a Chromebook, go to File and Save as Google Slide. You can delete any tokens that you don't need prior to sharing it with a student, or you can leave all the tokens and discuss with them which token they want to play with. Once your game or activity is set up the way you want to use it with a student, you need to share it with them so that they can move the game pieces, annotate, or otherwise manipulate the slides during your session, even without remote cursor control. Be sure to select Can Edit. If the student does not have a Gmail account, you can send them a link to their email, but be sure the link is set to Anyone with the link can edit. Here are a few tips and tricks. Under View, use full screen to maximize the size of the viewing area and limit students from accessing the menu. Escape takes you back to the regular view. To model language for AAC users, you can take a screenshot of a communication board and add it on the side of the game board after you have deleted extra tokens. You can also add in any images from Lesson Picks simply by going to the image in Lesson Picks, clicking on the image to bring it up full resolution, and then right click and select Copy Image. You can then just copy this right into your Google Slides for students to move around during an activity. Have fun and see how you can add interactivity to your remote learning activity with Google Slides and Lesson Picks.